What's going on everyone? Thanks for clicking on the video. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at PDP's brand new Face Off Deluxe Plus audio wired controllers for Nintendo Switch. But before we get started, I know that a lot of you are probably wondering why I haven't uploaded in a while again, and well, it's because I've been in Japan for the past few weeks. It was an amazing trip. It was my first time going, and if you haven't gone, I highly recommend you go if you ever get the chance to. Um, I wasn't really planning on making any videos about the trip, but I found some pretty crazy Japanese Switch accessories that kind of blew my mind, and I really want to share them with you. So make sure you're subscribed because you definitely don't want to miss out on that. But for now, let's check out these face-off controllers. All right, so I'm just gonna jump into the two biggest selling points of these controllers right away. The headphone jack and the back paddles. Let's start off with the headphone jack. This is arguably the most requested feature to be added to the current Switch's Pro Controller. And I think that a lot of people are still hoping that Nintendo will eventually release an updated version that actually has this built into it. But until then, we'll just have to settle for third-party controllers like this one. But that isn't to say that the face-off controller is a bad controller, because it's actually a really good controller, and it's about half the price of Nintendo's official Pro Controller. The headphone jack works exactly how you'd expect it to. It's plug and play, so any headset or pair of headphones that you have lying around the house should work just fine. It supports voice chat for games like Fortnite and Warframe, but Unfortunately, it doesn't bypass the Nintendo Switch Online app for non-free-to-play games like Mario Kart and Smash Bros. So you're still gonna have to deal with that for the majority of online Switch games that you play. There's also a really neat built-in feature that lets you adjust the sound levels on the fly by pressing up or down on the D-pad while holding down the function button. Now, some controllers have a turbo button, but this controller has a function button. You can also double tap the function button to quickly mute your microphone, which I think is a really nice touch because there have been so many times when I'm playing a game online, voice chatting, and someone comes into my room to ask me something and I just basically end up ripping out the headset cord completely. But hey, even if you aren't voice chatting, it's still really nice being able to just plug a headset straight into a controller and fully immerse yourself into what you're playing. Now my absolute favorite feature on these controllers and something that I've been wanting for a while now is a Switch controller with paddles on the back, similar to what you'd find on the Xbox One Elite controller and like every scuff controller made in the last two years. The face-off controller has two of them and thankfully they're both fully programmable, which means that you can literally map any of the buttons that you'd like to either of the paddles, including the screenshot and home buttons if you really wanna get crazy. Now, as you probably already noticed, these controllers have kind of a weird name. They're called face-off controllers, but sadly, they're not affiliated with the 1997 smash hit film, Face Off. <laughs> You can, however, swap out and snap in different faceplates from any other face-off controller. I'm actually kind of surprised, though, that PDP is using the faceplate feature as the main selling point for these controllers because, honestly, that's the least interesting thing about them. I'm far more into the idea of having a controller with paddles and a headphone jack. So at this point, you're probably wondering what the catch is. I mean, we've got a $30 wired switch controller with back paddles and a headphone jack. And that sounds pretty good, right? Well, unfortunately, there are a few downsides that we need to talk about. For one, there's no rumble, which I guess isn't too surprising coming from a third-party controller that's trying to stay at a competitive price point, but I'm definitely one of those people who really enjoys having some sort of physical feedback when playing a game. Second, and this probably isn't as big of a deal for some people, but it doesn't have gyro or motion controls. And I know that most people either say that they love them or hate them, but I think that there's a pretty big user base that sits sort of in the middle of that opinion and uses them for small things for time to time. You know, like bow controls in Breath of the Wild and throwing Cappy around in Mario Odyssey. Not having them isn't a deal breaker by any means necessary, and you can still get away with playing most Switch games just fine without rumble or motion controls, but I'd gladly pay a little extra to have a controller that has all of these features just packed into one unit. Now, as far as controllers go, it has a really nice form factor that's pretty similar to what you'd get with the official Pro Controller, except it does feel a little bit on the lighter side, and the grips 
aren't quite as comfortable if you have bigger hands. But that said, the buttons do feel nice and clicky with just around the same amount of travel time as the buttons on the Pro Controller. The D-pad also feels surprisingly smooth and responsive, which is not something that you'd expect coming from most third-party controllers. So all in all, at the end of the day, for $30, I think that PDP is onto something really great here as far as Switch Pro Controller alternatives go. I mean, sure, you might be sacrificing a few features like rumble and motion controls, but if those aren't as important to you, the benefit of what you get with a controller that has a headphone jack and back paddles is pretty awesome. So anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please remember to like it and subscribe for more videos just like this one. Thanks and have a great day.